Hello there everyone and welcome back to the building guides. These did take a bit of a break, but now that I've got a basic understanding on what the hell happened in 5.13, I am back to explain how to build certain characters. And today I'm going to be discussing how to build Guan Yu in Season 5 of Smite. So Guan Yu is a warrior and he will be played in the solo lane. I've tried him in support, I've tried him in the jungle, but Guan Yu works best as a solo laner, so he's gonna be going for that tanky style. So to start the game, you're gonna be getting your warrior's blessing, the chalice of healing, and then a few health pots to really push you through that early game. In conquest, I like to pick up teleport, but if you're playing another game mode where there's not a lot of towers, I don't really care what relic you get. Now let's talk about the core of the build. The core of the build is always going to have Warrior Tabby. Warrior Tabby is the better boot for Guan Yu. Now moving into the next two slots, you're going to want to pick up a magical and a physical protection item. The physical protection item should always be Breastplate of Valor. In my opinion, it is Guan Yu's best item because it gives him the mana that he is really desperate for. 20% cooldown, which is just huge. And then you know, a bit of physical protection, because we are a tank after all. Now, for the magical protection item, you do have some options. If the enemy team has some healing on them, you're gonna want to pick up Pestilence, because the sooner you can nip that in the butt, the better. Now, if they don't have any healing at all, and you don't feel like Pestilence is important, I'd recommend going into Genji's Guard. Genji's Guard is fantastic, it has that really unique cooldown passive, and since you are going to need those magical protections anyway, Genji's Guard is a really good option if you really aren't worried about the opponent's healing. So to finish up the build, I usually go with two hybrid items, and then one item that is just like kind of a flex pick. So for the two hybrid items, I'm going into Spirit's Robe 100% of the time, and then sometimes, depending on how the game is going, if we're really getting a lot of kills, I'll build Hide of the Urchin, or otherwise I'll build Mantle of Discord. Now, for that flex item, there's really a lot of options. Typically, a really good one is Masamune because it has a unique passive and it gives you a little bit of extra punch. Now, it's not also a bad thing to go into, say, Genji's Guard if you haven't yet already, or if you need Hide of the Nemean Lion to shut down a Hunter. Like, there's a lot of options for you. As for second Relic, Thorns is usually a really good option, or if you're looking to play really aggressive, get Belt of Frenzy. Reason being is Thorns is really good at shutting down enemy carries that play recklessly, and, well, Belt of Frenzy is just a hell of a lot of fun, and I really like that item. But yeah, that's how to build Guan Yu. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff from me in the future, hit my face in the bottom left to make sure you subscribe and keep up to date with me. If you want to watch more stuff from me right now, I have quite a bit to choose from, but I'm going to put two videos on the screen right now for you to choose from. Anyway guys, this is Celtic, signing off. Have yourselves a casual day.